There's a handy alternative to the if construct if you want to conditionally execute a block of code, namely the select construct. Here I'm asking the user to enter their age. Now I'm going to test it using the select construct. I start like this. Select case. I age is the variable I want to test. I'm going to type end select now so I don't forget to do it later. And then within the select and end select I have a number of case statements. Case 0 and what I'm going to do as a result of that I'll just go for a single line of code but I could have multiple lines of code here. Then another case case 1 or 2 or 3 toddler or I can test the variable for a range of values like this case 4 to 12 that includes 4 and 12 and everything in between Another case, 13 to 19, that makes you a teenager. Another case, 13 and I can perform a test using one of our relational operators. So there it is, the select and select construct. This is rather flexible. Instead of using or, I can just use commas. I can use the two operator on the same line as well. So maybe eliminating that test there. And what I think we can see here is it's actually a much neater way of constructing a series of tests than using an if block. There is a limitation of the select case construct that you need to be aware of though. We can only test one variable. To explain what I mean, take a look at this program. I'm asking the user to enter three numbers, three integers, and I simply want to find out which is the biggest of the three. With an if statement, I can build a condition which involves multiple variables. So here I'm asking if x is bigger than y and x is bigger than z. This test includes three separate variables. I can't do that with a select construct. Nevertheless, the select construct does have a place in VBA programming. If you want to perform a series of tests on a single variable, you can do so using the select construct. And arguably, it leads to simpler, more elegant, easier to maintain code. Select case or if, take your pick.